here. Oh my goodness. These things are money. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for big profits. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So what am I talking about? I am talking about my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, Share Your Best February Bolo. So I posted this in the Facebook group that has over 100,000 members in it. And I invited anyone that wants to share a big money bolo to share a link in the comments. Now, if you're having trouble finding a sold link and that is deterring you from sharing, please use a screenshot and just give me the item number and I can find it that way. I'm doing a little bit different of a format. And um, there's been a little bit of glitchiness on the app with the new change. And I don't think you can share from the app anymore. So that'll work also if you guys want to share that way. But I definitely encourage you to come on over and share a bolo, put in your YouTube channel, eBay store, whatever you want me to shout out in the comments and I'll shout it out. It's a great way to get exposure and help everyone learn. So I hope to see you in a future Bolo Buddies video. Let's start here with the first bolo. This one is a Christian Dior vintage round CD monogram gold tone clip on. Listen, guys, single earring. It is one single clip on earring from the 1980s. It says, I paid $8 for a single earrings craft bag from Donatella on whatnot. So Donatella must have been doing craft bags and she had maybe all clip on earrings or maybe just earrings in general, but they were all singles. So um, she said, I found this Christian Dior earring in the bag, sold on Etsy for $55. You never know what people are looking for. Thank you for your videos and for sharing your connections with us. I'm learning a lot from all of you. I'm Morning Dew Fines. So check out Morning Dew Fines. But oh my goodness, is that crazy? One single earring. So what happens is you own a pair of earrings, you lose one of your earrings, you love those earrings. And what do you do? You go and look for it and you find it because somebody listed it. I have listed single doll shoes and I have sold them. They have done, actually, they sold pretty quickly. I also sold an antique Victorian um, child shoe once, a single shoe. So it is possible. I've never tried selling a clip-on earring single, but she may be on to something here. So what do you guys think about this? And again, she got this from Donatella on Whatnot. If you guys are not on Whatnot, it is a great place to source. I'm over there selling. I'm doing untanglings. Uh, Capville and Thrifty seems so vintage. Um, lots and lots of sellers. If you want vintage Barbie, Flippin' Friends is fantastic. So come and see us. I will try to link some of the people that I follow down below in the description. A lot of my moderators, I'll put them down there so you guys can give them a follow as well. And they are fantastic with great items that you might be able to pick up and flip for a profit. So check it out. Uh, there's also a referral link down there where you can get $15 to shop if you join whatnot with it. So let's move on to the next one. It is a Patricia Nash genuine Italian leather handbag, flower tulip 70s style. This is what it looks like. And I have a purse on Poshmark. And it looks like a lima bean. And I bought it from Commonwealth Picker on whatnot. And I've got it listed over there on Poshmark. So I'm hoping that is going to be a bolo. I'm just waiting for the right buyer. I think he called it the Golden Girls Lima Bean Purse. <laughs> I should pull it up for you guys, but I'm not going to. You guys can go search my Poshmark closet for that. It's an interesting purse to say the least. Uh, but the keywords that he had were spot on. I don't think I used them in my title just because I, I don't know, I didn't want to uh, keyword spam, but those are great keywords for this purse. And when you see it, you'll know why. All right. She said, I bought this purse for me for $10 at a local thrift, got it home and noticed it was real leather and suede. 
looked up the tag and decided to put it up for 70 sold with my stores 20 percent off everything until march 1st a few days ago after doing all the bookkeeping i made 4619 and it is a patricia nash handbag you guys familiar with that brand it looks like maybe that's the logo let's see if we can zoom in here and yeah yep there you go patricia nash be on the lookout. I don't know if they're all worth that much, but definitely something to look out for. All right. I talked about this one in my Beanie Booze video, and I'm pretty sure Piece of Scrap sold one of these as well. This one says, I picked this tie, T-Y, Beanie Boo up at the bins. I did not notice the damaged eye before I got him home. I love listing tie. They are just cute, even though they don't sell for a lot. I kept putting him aside and not listing him because of his flawed eye. I was uh, trying to get through my money pile and made myself look him up. I was so shocked when I saw the comps. I found out he is a Walgreens exclusive because of the damaged eye listed at him at auction and started it at 75. I sold for 75. My cost of goods was $1.17. Yes, this is definitely a bolo. I have talked about it on multiple occasions. But she sold it for 75 even with the scuffed eye. Now, I have taken uh, cleaning paste and lightly rubbed some of the eyes. And sometimes that will take off some of the major scuffs. Now, I wouldn't do that unless it's a major scuff because it may create maybe a, some of the shine might dull. I don't know. I didn't do it very hard and I only did it on the scuff and it did help. And um, Seems So Vintage also mentioned using semi-chrome on plastic jewelry to help get scuffs out. Again, I have not tried it. Maybe try it on a cheaper piece first and just see how it works. Um, again, maybe a cheaper stuffed animal. Try it on some eyes. Do some test runs. Um, I didn't have a problem when I used it. But again, you're not going to want to push real hard. You're going to want to use a certain type of cleaning paste kind of see what works, but it's definitely possible to get some of those scuffs and marks off of plastic. If anybody has any tips or tricks for getting scuffs and marks off of plastic, let me know. Um, I know that I've used the cleaning paste for marks that are on plastic toys. Um, I've also used, um, what's it called? Dry erase marker to get a uh, marker off of plastic. So I have a video on that as well. I learned that one from Primetime Treasure Hunter. All right, so let's see. We saw the eye. So still sold for 75. I wanna say these go anywhere from 100 to 150 if they're in good condition. That was around the time that I did the last video, but that was a little while ago. You guys can type in Beanie Boo's Bolo Buddies and pull up that video and see the other ones that go for a lot. All right, this is a vintage Fitz and Floyd uh, Sri Lanka hot air balloon bunnies cookie jar pre-owned. I bought, whoa. Okay, <laughs> that was the wrong one. I was reading the wrong thing. Picked this up for free. I've had it for about a year and thought it would have sold for Easter last year, but it didn't. A buyer made an offer of 75, I think. I listed it for 85. Buyer paid shipping. She made a feedback comment about how well I packed it. The item was extremely well packed. It took 10 minutes to get it unwrapped, which is not a bad thing. The item was shipped promptly. The item was as described in the listing. eBay store four colors for me. This is a Royal Dalton plate. And she said, picked up several of these plates at the Goodwill almost two years ago. They sat and sat. I considered giving them away. All of a sudden, someone bought them at full price plus shipping. I think I paid a dollar each, sold for $79.99. I have nine others left in different sizes. Hopefully they will sell too. So this is a list it and forget it item. Shit. In <laughs> it ended up being a bolo, but it took a long time to sell. So everybody has different opinions on what a bolo is. Maybe something that sits for a long time isn't the right pick for you. But if you're patient, this is a good one. The next item is this size 12 Under Armour Charged Assert 94E Wide Triple Black Reed. Hard to find size. 
Got these for free. I could have sold them as new in box, but they look like they had been tried on and put back in the box. I had them on auction starting at 35, took an offer of 25 and buyer paid shipping. So um, just more of a bread and butter. A 9-4-E is probably going to be either a quick sale or a I'm going to take forever to sell because it's a hard hard to sell, hard to find size. So it could go either way. She could have listed it high and waited on the right buyer and sold it as a bolo or just been happy with the, I'm just going to take the quick sale. But here's the thing. She had it on auction and somebody offered her 25. If she would have waited it out, she may have had multiple offers if there were people that needed the size 4E. You just never know. Um, but you look at your cost of goods, you look at what you think is going to happen and you just go with your gut. And that's what she did. Hero Scape game paid $3 and 64 cents at the Goodwill ended up being complete, sold within two weeks, took an offer of 120 because I like quick sell through and it is a game and it looks like they showed all the pieces out. And there it is, HeroScape, if you ever see that one. Now, let's say you get this and it does not have all the pieces. What are you going to do? Are you going to donate it or are you going to part it out? I say part it out. If it's a big money bolo um, as a game complete, then those pieces are probably going to sell. Even if you sell the characters individually or the game pieces. So definitely something to think about. All right, so this next one comes from Childhood Finds, and I'm going to let her tell you about this big money bolo that she has sold on multiple occasions. And if you guys would like to have a 60-second video of you featuring one of your bolos in a video, please send that to me on Instagram or Facebook, and I will include it in a video. I typically do videos called this is my bolo and I get a whole bunch of resellers to share their bolos and I put it in video format. Um, I'm going to start doing it a little bit differently. And if you guys just want to send me a good one, when you have a good one, I will include it in one of these videos. So I think that's how we're going to do it now. So this is childhood finds and this is her bolo. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah or Childhood Finds on YouTube and pretty much everything else. And I'm going to share with you a type of item today that sells for me really well. And that's going to be kind of firearm cases and holsters. And this first one is a Boyd 30 inch shotgun case leather. It sold for 150 bucks in a couple of months. I paid five for it at an estate sale. The second one is an Apache vinyl soft padded pistol case. This sold for $58.95 and I paid a couple bucks for it and it sold within a couple weeks. And this last one is a Bianchi leather shoulder holster, extra large, extra large size, and it sold for $74.95. I paid up at $20 at an estate sale, but it sold within a week. And I've sold a lot of these types of items and they always sell for me really well and bring me great profits. All right. Thanks, everybody. And thanks, Courtney. All right. The next item is this vintage Motorola mobile radio PTT microphone model. I don't know, whatever. CTMN 6013A. Uh, vintage microphones. I scored a whole box for $0. And it looks like it sold for $67.99 in Canada. Free is free, right? Long, layered, wavy, capeless, blonde, mixed, synthetic hair wig, 13 inches, women's unbranded. I like that little stand she's got there. That's pretty nifty. Nooks, crannies, and irresistibles, eBay store. And purchased at a thrift store for a dollar, sold quickly for best offer of 25 plus shipping, all in 34.24. Unbranded, no box. She said, I did hand wash and dry twice before listing to remove thrift store odor. Got excellent feedback for the quick flip. She even washed the hair. Oh my goodness. It looks good. She did a good job. She did a good job, but that's a lot of work for $25. Would you do it? Some wigs go for big money. So definitely look them up. But this one was unbranded, but I think it's a pretty wig. Look at that. Kind of looks vintagey, right? What year? What era would that be? The 80s? 90s? I'm not sure. 
All right. I found these Mirabilla, Mirabilla, Bilia, <laughs> Nora Corbett cross stitch lot, the lady of the flag and others. Uh, let's see. She found them at her local thrift store for $1.99. She said, I tried to sell them individually, but it did not work. So I put them together and I accepted the best offer of 300. Wow. They didn't sell individually, but lotted them up and sold for 300. That's fantastic. And there, there it is. That's a great tip on some things. They just sell better as a set. So thank you for that information and letting us know that they didn't sell individually. That's a great tip. Here is another one from Childhood Finds, who you saw earlier in the video. This is a MI Co. Parking Meter Michaels Art Bronze Co. Covington, Kentucky. Vintage, no key, untested. I got this at a yard sale for $15. It took about a month to sell for full asking price of $139.95. And you can find Childhood Finds here on eBay and on YouTube. She is a Bolo finder. Definitely check out her videos. This one here comes from Piece of Scrap. These are cool Rebel denim jeans. And they're hiking pants and they're vintage. She said, I got... These for $4.50 at the Goodwill, sold within two days for $89. There's a gnat. Um, and this one comes from Piece of Scrap on eBay and Poshmark. And also, she is on YouTube, so check her out. This here, oh my goodness, these things are money. Uh, was purchased in a box of items, making that item about 15 Started an auction with Buy It Now. Buyer purchased the Buy It Now within two and a half hours after listing for $500. Aereo Lux Disney Donald Duck Neon Glow Light Bulb Tube with Fixture Base Working. These are money. If you find them, pick them up. Money, money right there. This one is a vintage picket all metal engineer slide roller with leather case and belt hook. And I've sold one of these before. I think I got mine at the Goodwill Benz and I think I almost left it behind and decided to get it. And I want to say mine sold in around the same price range. Not a hundred percent sure. It's been a while ago. Picked up this weird roller at a family run estate sale for a dollar and had so many views and watchers sold in six days for full asking price of $35.87 plus shipping. My shop is Randaporium on eBay, selling all things random. I like it. I like that name. All right, here we go. I found this necklace in a Goodwill grab bag and wouldn't have thought it had much value if it wasn't for Bolo Buddies. It was a genuine puka shell necklace and it sold within a day of listing. I took an offer of 65 for a quick flip. And she is new to YouTube. She is Gypsy Jewels. Check her out. But this is Puka Shell, guys. And I have sold Puka Shell on my whatnot. And we have had talks about it. And some people have said it is a bolo. So when I am digging through jewelry and my untanglings, I find a lot of shell. And I have found some Puka Shell. When I first saw this, I'm like, did she buy this from me? but it sounds like she did not. Um, but it sold for $65. So congratulations on that. And come over to Whatnot. It is a great place to source. And I do have a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you use that referral link to join. Um, I am Bolo Buddies over there and I do a lot of jewelry untangling. So it's a lot of fun to hang out in the chat and you will learn a lot. So just like this necklace, she learned about this from my whatnot show because people were talking about the value of these in the chat. Lexicon model number digital. I don't know what this thing is. It's it's this thing. It's an audio reverberator. <laughs> Picked up at a yard sale for five. Took a best offer after 48 hours of it being listed for 500 plus shipping. I tested tested best I could. I am not an audio file. I don't know what that means. I do offer free returns if something is wrong. Took a chance at five. I eBay scanned it on site and she plugged it in for me to see that it turned on. So whatever this thing is, it is a big 
money bolo. What is it, guys? Does anybody know what this is? Let me know down in the comments. All right. Those were your February big money bolos. I have more videos coming soon. This is a whole series for February. Head over to the Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It's linked down under my link tree and look for the share your best March bolo. And thanks for watching.